Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Apple stock. We're going to be going ahead and seeing why I am buying Apple stock. Even though, yes, it just hit all time high, so why am I buying it? I'm going to be breaking down all of this in this episode, so I hope you guys enjoy it and overall, I hope you guys learned something. Also, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them down below and I will get back to you guys. All right, also one last thing, if you guys wanna sign up with Moomoo, you guys can literally get a free stock just by signing up. That will be the first link down below, so make sure you guys check them out. Roll the intro, let's jump into it, guys. Bam! So the very first reason why I am buying Apple stock is because of the AirPods. I understand you might be saying, well, Carter, why are you buying why are you interested in Apple just because of a $200 product? Why are you interested in them? Well, let me tell you something. They have sold over 60 million units. You know, that might not seem like a lot, even though it is, but if that's just say each one of those AirPods are $200, which most of the time they're more, that values just the AirPods at around 12 billion dollars. Just to put everything in perspective, that is more than Spotify makes in an entire year. That is almost as much as Uber makes. So you have to understand that those little products that you see in people's air are worth a lot of money to Apple. Now, I do think the future of those are only going to get, you know, larger due to AI where you can pretty much go, "Hey Siri, and she gets back to you guys. Mm -hmm. So the second reason why I am interested in Apple is because of this. This is the Apple credit card. I know for all of you credit card guys, this might not be the best card. You know, it's a titanium card that offers around 2% cash back when you use the Apple Pay. But here's the thing that's interesting, is when you buy something off Apple's website, guess what, you don't pay any interest. So I understand you might be saying, well, Carter, why would I buy something off this card? What Apple's trying to do is they're trying to get you into a reoccurring payment. Very similar to the Netflix, very similar to the Amazon Prime. They want that reoccurring revenue, which is overall gonna make Apple more money. And on top of that, you're gonna continue to use this card for other daily purchases. So now, how much total revenue does Apple make? Apple makes around $260 billion, which is absolutely insane. Apple is the largest market cap company traded in the entire world. So it's really crazy to see you know, an Apple being so high in price and yet, people are still buying it, like myself. You know, I do own quite a bit of Apple, so I'm gonna just go ahead and average my shares into it, because I do think the future for it is very large. Also, a lot of very, very popular stock traders have just moved Apple's target price to around $425. With it now trading at $350, there is definitely some upside potential. On top of owning Apple just to have it grow in value, you guys are going to be getting paid a dividend. So for all of you dividend guys, this is just going to be another little paycheck that you're going to get every single quarter. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and look at the chart. We're going to look at support resistance, pretty much why I'm getting into it and everything like that. Let's go. We'll see you in there. Alrighty guys, so we have ticker symbol AAPL. This is the one and only Apple. You guys can see we have this beautiful growth in this stock, a beautiful upward trend. On top of that, this stock has beaten the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ for the past couple years. So I do think that this stock is still gonna continue to grow in value. Now, am I gonna actually buy this stock right now at 350? Probably not. I do think right now we are in this, you know, volatile state, but I do think getting into this stock at, you know, 330 is definitely a fair price by all means. You know, I'm always trying to just get the best deals on all the stock. I am like a bargain shopper. I'm constantly looking for stocks to go up in value. 
And if you get a stock on sale, that's a great thing. So I do think the future for this stock is very large. On top of that, you're going to be getting paid every single quarter 77 cents, which is really nice to see that on top of the growth of the stock, you're going to be getting paid a dividend. Another thing too is let's go ahead and look at the max time frame. So looking at this chart, you guys see this yellow line here? This is what you call a 200 moving average line. So this is one of the strongest supports that you can possibly have on a chart. So here's what I would highly recommend doing. Go ahead and set an alert. Make sure you set it on the 200 moving average line study. So if it falls, you guys are going to get notified just because every single time that this stock has hit it, look, it's gotten bought back up, bought back up, bought back up. So now we're on this beautiful growth. And on top of that, yes, there is definitely some downside potential. But I do think getting into this stock, you know, at you know 330, averaging your price down if the stock continues to fall is going to be a great move for the long term. This stock could easily go up to $400 by 2021 if not sooner so there's a lot of potential here alrighty guys that is it though I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode remember to stay happy stay positive and overall stay safe out there we'll see you guys tomorrow take care